Well, 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 it's 2024 already. Merry New Year! Yet another year has passed, and I think we need to look back on 2023. So, you know what time it is? Yeah, it's rewind time. We're not actually starting in January of 2023. No, we're starting in 2022, and the month is December. On December 7th, a Brawl Talk was released, where the Candyland update was announced. This update dropped January 2nd, and the year started off with the removal of boxes. Yeah, it has already been a year without boxes. I know, time flies. Anyways, three brawlers got added, including Mandy, Chester, and of course, Grey. Since boxes got removed, credits, the Star Road and Fame were introduced. And to be fair, the hate for this update went through the roof. I think almost everyone got used to not having boxes, and now with star drops, there is still a little bit of excitement and randomness added to the game. Oh, also, Frank said this. Adding seven new dual maps in preparation for making duels permanent. Sometime soon. Making duels permanent. Making duels permanent. Yeah. Let's move on to the next update, happening in March. This was the mystery at the hub update, and it was one of the coolest ones of the year. Not as cool as the sponsor of today's video, one State. One State is a free mobile online game with a role-play mode. The game's setting takes place in Los Angeles on a large open map. Here, you can become a police officer, a gangster, a businessman, or an ordinary worker. The game offers endless opportunities for character development, including playing with friends, making new acquaintances, and enjoying various entertainment options. There's also something really epic and new. One State has just released a major update called It's Thuggin' Time. This is a significant update where they have introduced the opportunity for players to create their own gang and compete with others for the title of the most formidable organization in the city. The game is optimized to work on any mobile device, so you never experience lag. Make sure to download One State by using my link, and if you use code BEEF, you get a free 10,000 bucks to help you start off. I personally really like to drive around the map and completing missions with other players. You can earn some big rewards if you complete those missions, and there are also big events to make the game even more fun. And the coolest part is that all of this happens on a real map of America. So what are you waiting for? Download the game, use my promo code, and a huge thanks to One State for sponsoring this video. Let's continue with the mystery at the Hub update. It featured two new brawlers, RT and Willow. RT was actually massive when he first got added. He made Frank look like a little kid. We also got Mastery, a new battle screen. Battle cards and indestructible walls got added again. In my opinion, this was one of the best updates. I mean, Mastery has been super helpful with progression, and the pin, profile icon, and title are really cool to show off on your profile. It also gave a lot more reason to play certain brawlers and gave you a goal to prove that you're one of the six million creatures of the night. Seriously, there are other brawlers than Mortis. Go check them out. Also, I started my channel around this time, and I just wanted to thank you all for the support. I can't believe we're almost at 10k subs. May. Another month. Another update. This time, we have the Rumble Jungle update. And again, Two more brawlers. This time we had Maisie and Hank. Remember the Hank Hankpocalypse in Showdown? Because I certainly do. Oh yeah, he had something going on with his damage scaling. Reminds me of something else. <clears throat> All jokes aside, this update had one of the best features for free to play players. I'm talking about bling. Star points got removed, and you could now buy whatever cosmetic you wanted without having to spend any gems. Well, you can buy whatever as long as it's not a mythic or legendary skin. Oh yeah, that's right. They added skin rarities. All skins also got subdivided into different categories, so you can find, buy, and collect an entire group of skins if you really like them. Unfortunately, pin packs got removed, and the only way to get pins now are to buy them with bling or getting them from a star drop. The season reset also got a bit of a rework now resetting your top 20 brawlers, and this would happen every two weeks. We also got highlights and a new end screen, which I think was amazing. You can now finally see how bad your random teammates are, based on numbers. Lastly, we got the hot dog showdown mode, but that wasn't a huge success. 
Oh, also, the first ever Time to Explain podcast was uploaded to YouTube, giving more information about the state of the game and just answering questions in general. Moving on to July, and the Enchanted Woods update dropped. Two new brawlers, Cordelius and Doug. Remember Cordelius. Yeah, that was horrible. Doug is still the same. Bad. And then, star drops. Finally, something that involved chances and luck. The surprise effect was back, and let me tell you, it didn't even come close to seeing that flashy number when opening a brawl box. Most of the time, you get something horrible. But for that one time, you get a cool skin or hypercharge. Star drops feel amazing. Unfortunately, this update wasn't all sunshine and rainbows because we had to say goodbye to Paula. It's with a heavy heart that I announce this will be my last Brawl Talk. After being on the Brawl Stars team for over two years, she decided to focus on Squad Busters. And with that, we got a new community manager, Marzio. August 30th, and an animation was released featuring a new game mechanic People were speculating what this could be, and then September 2nd, we got a brawl talk, explaining the new mechanic. It was the hypercharge ability, a new ability that would make your brawler stronger and your super more powerful. Not gonna lie, the first hypercharges were pretty lackluster by only making a brawler super a bit bigger. But after seeing the newest hypercharges being released, I think it's safe to assume that we will get some really amazing abilities in the future. Not only did we get hypercharges, we of course also got new brawlers. Chuck and Pearl were the two newest additions to the game, and power levels got reworked. Instead of getting a 5% stat buff per level, brawlers now got a 10% buff. This made leveling up a brawler much more worth it, but pushing low-level brawlers became a lot harder. I guess I'll never get that rank 26 Gus. November. You know, Club League felt kinda boring, didn't it? That's why Mega Scout, Mega Pig got introduced. Man, the amount of progression I've gotten from this is terrible. At the end of every month, all players in a club now compete to fill up their Mega Pig by winning matches. The reward consists out of coins, power points, bling, and up to 23 star drops if you fully filled up the pig and contributed the most wins. Unfortunately, the chances of getting something useful are incredibly slim, so you probably end up with a spray for a brawler you don't even like. Anyways, we of course also got a brawler, Charlie. Totally balanced, like every other chromatic. We also got old skins returning to the shop, but with a recolor so that the OG skin owners can still flex with their skins. Also, in November, the first ever 100k trophies were achieved by Hyra. The World Championship also happened at the end of November, and for the third year in a row, Zeta Division managed to take the win. Moving on to December 1st, and the removal of Chroma credits was announced. Instead, they got converted into credits, and the Chromatic Brawler rarity was removed. Only one and a half week later, and the Brawl Talk for upcoming season was released. Three new Brawlers, a complete rework of the Brawl Pass, and 5v5 mode. We of course got Miko, and he's quite menacing in Showdown but in all other modes, he's pretty balanced. Then, a new legendary, Kit, and a new mythic, or two actually, Larry and Lori. Like I said, the Brawl Pass is getting reworked, and there are now two variants, the regular Brawl Pass and the Brawl Pass Plus. Both are only available for money, to maximize revenue. We also got win streaks, which are absolutely broken, and the option to share replays to your club. This year has been quite the ride. Lots of things have changed, and there are a lot of things that will change in the future as well. In 2024, we will get a Power League rework, and most likely a rework to the trophy system too. The lore will probably expand as well, since we now have this CCTV camera, and more and more about the Brawler's origin stories is being uncovered. The rest is all unsure, and we'll just have to be patient. Anyways, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed, don't forget to sub, and I'll see you in the next one.